Hi, this is Dr. Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today. I'm in Chicago at the Search Engine Strategies Conference with Eric Inga, who's an expert in the area of uh, organic search, among other things. Uh, I want to talk today about uh, this kind of interesting term, the long tail of search. How to leverage the long tail of search, <laughs> which begs the question of what's a long tail? What are we talking about here? Yeah, it's a, it's a fair question. Uh, the, the concept of the long tail relates to the way people engage with search engines. So when we think about search and we think about, let's say we have a digital camera business, uh, you know, we tend to think of, of digital camera as the search term. And it certainly is the most popular search term. It uh, turns out that it only accounts for about 10% of all search queries. Uh, and we call those head terms, right? Okay. And then we have... The head, the head and the tail kind of thing. Right. Well, and then there's also a thing we call the chunky middle. The chunky middle. Okay. Right. Uh, and this, this relates to a graph. And I'm going to put one up on the screen here so our, our viewers can see it. Right. Uh, that, that shows, you know, a lot of searches for a few terms. Right. And then a number of searches for some terms. And then a kind of a long tail that goes out for a long way where there are just a few searches, but there's a, a big volume in those long tail terms. That's right. So uh, just to, to sort of finish the definition, you know, chunky middle might be Canon digital camera. Okay. Okay. And then a long tail term might be uh, Canon, Canon digital camera store in Philadelphia, PA. Okay. okay. And people search on these kinds of things. And it turns out that long tail is about 70% of all the search volume. So people are, are being rather specific most of the time, it sounds like. That's absolutely right. So uh, well, even though the most popular term when you just look at one specific search term is a head term, uh, the aggregate volume of all the, uh, the long tail search terms is much, much greater. Okay. So I know that. How should that affect me? Well, you know, I think uh, the, the hard part for people is, because uh, many people have heard this and then they don't know what to do next, okay? And I've talked to many businesses and, and they just still remain focused on the head terms. And then they'll say, well, the long tail of search, uh, you know, you should focus on that. And I'll be telling them this. Uh, and they'll say, oh, no, no, our business is different, Yeah, right? right? And, and then they'll show me their Google Analytics data showing that they're getting all their traffic on the head terms. And then I'll show them that they're ranking on the head terms and they're not ranking on the long tail terms and that's why. And you, there's plenty of data. Um, there's a couple other things that people need to understand. One is that by my estimation, it's at least four times easier to rank for a long tail term than a head term. And a long tail term, a more specific query is generally speaking an indication that the searcher is closer to a final decision and therefore at least twice as likely to convert. Okay, let, let me just kind of go back here. So 10% of the search terms are these head terms that are the common generic words for, the, for, a, for an industry. 70% mm -hmm. of the volume mm -hmm. is in the long tail terms. Correct. If someone's searching for something in this industry, 70% of the time they're going to be looking at the long tail terms. Right. Seven times? Seven times more than the head terms. And then, did you just finish the math, you know, four times more likely to rank well in a long tail term. Now, it's easier to rank because not as many people are trying to rank for it. Exactly right. Uh, and, and there's certain things you need to do strategically to be able to rank for it, uh, which, precisely speaking, you must have web pages that address the long tail terms. Okay. Uh, now, you probably don't have a web page for Canon Digital Camera in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, or you might. Yeah. And then you have to figure out how to put unique content on that page. So, we got 10% of the head, seven times that volume for long tail terms, mm -hmm. four times easier to rank, and you said... Twice as likely to convert. Twice as likely to convert, and this is because people are who are using specific terms are more ready to buy than the people are putting general right. generic terms in. Yeah, and there's a lot of uh, studies that have been done on this topic that show that, that kind of number. So At least twice as ready. Yeah, at least twice as ready, exactly. So conservatively speaking, in your web-based business, or you know, if you have a business where the website is only a component of it, the business you get from your website is 56 times more uh, accessible in the long tail 
than it is in the head. So you're multiplying these various factors. I, I am. Seven times four is 28 times two is 56. Right. All right. So you know, to me, that says, how can you afford not to chase the long tail, right? Um, so how do you chase the long tail? Uh, we're, we're convinced we need to do it. So how do I set up my site to chase long tail terms? It's a tricky process because uh, you need to remember that the, the most important on-page element that you can bring to bear uh, you know, is the title tag uh, of a web page and links to web pages, the anchor text and links to, to various web pages. So that suggests right away that, for my example, you would want to have a web page for Canon digital cameras in Philadelphia. Now, that might be a little extreme, it might be a little far, but the idea is that you have to figure out how to deploy uh, uh, web pages that cover a broad array of topics, right? Um, and actually deploy unique content on those pages. Uh, and that's, that's where the tricky stuff comes in. So how, in this case, how might you do it? So what we've done uh, with various people is we have developed a process for uh, scalably delivering large volumes of unique content. How do you do it? Uh, we use a team of writers based in India, and then uh, we use uh, uh, local resources, college newspaper editors, people like that, uh, to edit the content. S fix English errors mm -hmm. and things that are just, you know, culturally American incorrect. American usage errors. Yeah. yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, and, uh, and, and we have a, a process for deploying that. So you can actually create unique and actually valuable content. Because you don't, you don't want to um, uh, do stuff that is kind of stupid where, uh, you know, the Philadelphia digital camera page uh, you know, basically uses a template which is the same as the Chicago yeah. and you, you know, the, the so really have to be different. So they have all the same content except just the, the, the uh, place name. R right. So, so better would be is if you uh, listed the stores in Philadelphia because that's not going to be a template with the stores in Chicago, mm -hmm. right? So that's a way to, to get a lot of long tail content out there. Okay. Uh, thanks for sharing with us. Great tips. Uh, tell me about your business and what you do. Uh, well, I'm the president of Stone Temple uh, Consulting. Uh, it's an SEO consulting firm with offices in Boston and California. Uh, we've been uh, helping, uh, uh, you know, small to actually large enterprise type firms uh, uh, for uh, a number of years with SEO. Uh, and uh, recently uh, became a published author with The Art of SEO. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> well, that's great. Thanks for sharing with us. This is Ralph Wilson with Web Marketing Today.